Ciao ragazzi! Today we're gonna make an oil test, oil test. Right, amore? Yes. My amore is in the background. I'm she... behind the camera today. Yes. So why we want to do this video? Because in the last video we did how to test oil oil. And you know, I think this vi we need to do a longer video explain everything. We had so many questions from you guys and we really need to go in depth because actually olive oil is pretty complicated and there's a lot to talk about. It's not as simple as one and done answer. Like wine or other things. Right, so we've got to clarify some things for you. Yes, so let's start with the test. So here we have two brands, okay? We have Casco and we have this brand, Casco actually we put here. And then we have Intimio, that is Intimio Italiano and the Intimio uh, Intenso. Intenso. Okay, so how you do the test? Oil test it is, you put some oil in one cup, you need to smell, get this no smell soap or other thing, need to be clean, clean, without scent. Yes, you put your oil, about a tablespoon or two in yes. the bottom. And then what you're gonna do? You take something to cover the oil, okay? You put your hand and you start twist it, like warm up the bottom, okay? So this is oil from Casco. Then you're gonna wait a little bit, like 20 seconds. You need to feel the cup if it's warm or not, okay? All right, now you remove it and then immediately you're gonna smell. Okay. And what you're smelling for is whether you smell anything that doesn't smell fresh, like any chemicals or any anything that doesn't smell fresh to you, like fresh grass or almonds or the notes of olive, which are what you're supposed to smell in a really fresh olive oil. So you're smelling to see if you smell any chemicals or anything that's not fresh versus fresh notes. Yeah. And then if you feel in the beginning that you don't smell too much, keep doing this processing. Keep warming. Keep warming up. And now I smell it. And this is the hard part. You know why guys? Because if you don't have a good smell and you cannot smell grass, you get it is hard for you for decide if it's a good oil oil or bad oil. It's also difficult if you only have one oil to compare to. The best is to get a few different price points of olive oil, a few different brands of olive oil, so you can test them against each other. And the more you practice using different olive oils, the more you'll be able to know the, the differences. The difference. Now, I don't know if you take, but I put this oil oil in this because this is more common. In, in the price range, you know, so I I already check all the cups are really uh, No smell nothing. So and now I try to do this one Okay, so it Okay, now I got I we're gonna put her Oil work we recommend it. Uh, we tell you why we recommend this oil work. Try this So, but one of these three is smelling chemicals, really chemicals. You can, this actually smell olives, grass, yeah, really good, really good, like smell like oil. Let's try it, okay? So this is Casco. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so Casco oil oil is really, really butter. I can taste butter on the, my lips immediately. And then in the back, it's not that spicy. You need to try to find a really, really good spicy. More spicy is it and more polyphenol you have. And when you say spicy, you're, he's talking about like a peppery taste, something that bites the back of yeah. your throat. No, everybody can figure out the spiciness because somebody can just hurt yourself and then it's like, 
but just because it's hurting yourself because you know practice this so I encourage you to practice this thing before try to test better now I'm gonna try the this one this tastes nothing like butter I have ac extreme buttering and that's smooth no flavor no yeah. taste so another thing for to be more specific for remove the taste before one olive oil and the other olive oil you can eat a piece of the apple or you have a piece of the celery okay and I'm gonna eat a piece of the celery doing one olive oil eat a piece of the celery if you have oh, apple uh, green apple is the best why I'm on it because you remove the the other oils the other oils trying to neutralize neutralize the other oils so you you are more correct so let's go to Intimio Wow, it's burning mine. It's burning. And this Intemio Italiano, or this is the Distinto. Yeah, Distinto. This is not even as strong as Intenso. Intenso is going to be more and more because it's going to be more polyphenol. And, um, but now let's talk about the difference why I taste plastic. Okay, let's go in the details. Okay. Wow, it's really spicy, it's really good. Minsk is really good. I'm, I'm happy. Why olive oil in plastic is so bad? First of all, it's bad because olive oil, it is antioxidant. How do you say? Antioxidant. Antioxidant. So, when it's storage in the heat and they maybe ship from the, from with the boats, the shipping, and this is storage in the heat, they're gonna take some plastic. That's why I was smelling plastic because it's eating the plastic. So you actually gonna eat plastic. So that's why containers in plastics is terrible. Plus the oxygen go inside to the plastic and they're going to the oil bowl and they destroy the oil bowl. And Be basically it changes the olive oil from antioxidant to being oxidized. Oxidized. And it loses all its health properties and actually can become opposite of what it's you want it to do. opposite of what you think. You're thinking, oh, I got oil oil, and then instead you eat really bad. So that's why no plastic. Laboration. When you try to do oil olives, you know, the old methods, unfortunately, it is the wrong methods because oxygen ruins the olive and then make like we just explained. The new elaboration, like this oil will do it, it is with a new techniques and then remove the oxygen. They try to sealing really good the, the actually butter. It's the more controlled and um you make sure that the olive oil isn't opened up to oxidizing. Yeah, so they make a... I can't see it. You cannot see it, but they try to make a really good job for no make oxygen go inside. So definitely one big mistake, it is this. Price point. Guys, the truth is this. It's not get the most expensive olive oil, it is good olive oil. Because up there, they're going to sell you. This expensive olive oil, even forty or fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, hundred dollars. But I actually, they sell you this because you I don't know, you know. So it is. This is costing more than this, and we are sure about this because we know the person. We have so many meetings. He's an expert. We we go inside. We go deep. We figure out everything. And then that's why we recommend this oil bowl. It's not for other reasons. At the price point, a lot of comments say, oh, but this costs for half liter, so 16.9 ounces, uh, $30. This. So the reason we got so into olive oil is because we were tired of trying to find olive oil and finding misleading information. Yeah. So we reached out to an expert. 
yes. who basically told us all of the chemical properties of these olive oils. And we did a lot of studying versus store-bought olive oils and were able to compare them. I compare them and figure out okay, this olive oil it is good for you. Then, if you're curious, another thing really fast. Yes. Before we jump more into pricing, I want to go back and talk about the properties of the olive oil and what people need to kind of look out for. Yes. Because it's not just a peppery taste. No. Or not smelling chemicals. Because olive oil gets its health benefits from having polyphenols, polyphenols. high polyphenols, high monounsaturated fats, and low acidity. Yes. And we've been able to show that the Intimini Intimio olive oil has a minimum of 350 milligrams yes. of polyphenols and it can go up to even over 600. Yes. And all of the oils are under 0.25% acidity, which sounds very scientific and it kind of is, but that's kind of what you're looking for. You want high polyphenols, high monounsaturated fats, and low acidity. I tell you something. And it's also organic. Yes. And then these people, sometimes people, especially in America, they don't like this because it's a lot amaro. Amaro. Bitter. Is, eh? Bitter. Bitter. So it is like this. This is the perfect example. Dark chocolate, you know, the most good dark chocolate is good for you, right? Everybody knows mm -hmm. that. And more is dark, and more is bitter. Okay? Right. More is with milk, it is sugar, less is good for you. And then uh, it's not good for you. Same for the olive oil. Same thing for olive oil. This is gonna be more bitter, but it's it better is for you. Bad, better for your things. This then, is gonna be lighter and give a more mild flavor to you. Yes. But it's not as And good. then another thing, when they ship this, you know, we we always recommend that to buy from the website for the for the for Intimio, link below, because he gonna ship personally. He conserved the olive oil, he ship with the oil with refrigeration and not in packs who cares, whatever, because you can have the best olive oil in the world, but if you know storage good, it's gonna go bad. It's, it's, it's gonna go bad, it doesn't matter. Another thing to think about too is, if anybody's ever had an olive straight off of the tree, Exactly. Was it smooth and buttery? No, it no. is very bitter and very I tried. hard to eat. So if you're having olive oil, you want it to be bitter and peppery and bite yes. you, and you don't want it to be smooth and buttery and yes. mild. Me and Jesse, we in future we try gonna bring people in Italy for have tasting olive oils and other things. So follow me up in our social media if you wanna have this experience. I wanna say another thing about the pricing. Yes. Because no. you were saying, you know, not necessarily all high priced olive oils exactly. are good. Exactly. Another thing to consider is how much goes into pricing a bottle of olive oil. So if you're used to purchasing this from the grocery store you're going to be shocked when you start to look at the prices of good quality olive oil yes. but there's a reason for that and one of those reasons is that and for example Intimio specifically does a really good job about this is making sure all the people who are involved in your olive oil get paid fairly fairly and it's it's a sad truth of the industry but a lot of the cheap bottles that you're buying, they don't pay, pay the farmers or the farms fairly. No, no. So we were happy to know that they pay their farmers a fair wage for the olive oil. And of course, that means it's going to be a higher price bottle. Plus, the packaging. packaging. You're having glass bottles versus plastic bottles, so that also factors into... Sealing the bottle. Sealing. Sealing. And storage and shipment controlled to make sure that the quality stays in the bottle. Oh, in other olive oils, okay, they just mix different olive oils and then they put butter. Do you know they put butter? Because they know your taste want more sweet, more stuff like that, like more good taste in your mouth. So they try to mix the stuff. So maybe you prefer other olive oils, you know, for the taste. But no means it's good oil. That's why we suggest 
this oil bowl 100%. Another thing, in the past we said if this is the price, okay, you think oh this price is too uh, high for me, don't worry. So instead to go with this, I, I going with this, you know, or other kind of oil bowls because everybody need to uh, use the the price. But I just want to make sure what you get. And you understand what, what factors into the prices. Exactly. So the question is this, you wanna want this because you like it, go for it. I don't tell you don't do it. But you need to just know that this is what you're going to and whatever. If you want this, you know what we told you and this is our uh, suggestion. Then you can shop around, you have all the information, please comment below for more information. We can even bring uh, this expert to do a podcast and with all your questions. So please, if you have any uh, question, comment below and we can answer in a different video because the argument, I know, it is really, really high, really complicated. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, so after this, choose the good one. Buon olio a tutti ragazzi. <laughs>